Well, hello and welcome to another Havoc Sons video. Who's that? That's my doggie. That's Xena. Last time you might have seen her, she was a little puppy I could put in my hand. Not a puppy anymore, but she's so smart. She's a Belgian Shepherd. Anyway, what's behind curtain number one, you wonder? Let's go take a look. I talked about this before briefly on my Facebook Radio Shack channel. It's in my temporary office. It's a mess. But, you know, it keeps me sane. So here's the uh, building that I'm constructing because of all these things. These are CEDs here that you see. Uh, I've never done a video on it, but other people have. And there are some computers here. And then I've got my stack of drywall. So basically, this was a patio. And I have converted it to a uh, room. And this is what this is going to be my YouTube room, eventually. Uh, so over here is going to be a, it's a patio door. It's the wall. Now that patio door used to be right here. But we've closed this out and we made this a laundry room. And then I added a door over here. Now, um, there's a lot of reasons why I want to make this a uh, YouTube studio. But that is not my biggest problem. My biggest problem, I'm out in the sunshine now, is in behind this door. <laughs> Boxes and boxes of stuff. And this is where I keep most of my Tandy computer stuff. If you ever seen any of my other older videos, you'll see that I have a Tandy Museum I had up operational. I don't even know what that one is. Uh, I think that's a sensation. Nope, it's not. But I have one gifted to me by Mark Crowder. Super nice guy. He's also on my Radio Shack channel. So this room is stuffed high. And this is not going to be my uh, computer museum room. Um, actually, my YouTube channel is going to be my computer museum room. And then right over here... Sorry, I'm facing the sun. All this is a barn kit which goes try let me try to get away from the sun the morning sun is crazy i'm still in my pajamas the barn see now i poured some cement slab here uh and the barn is going to go right here and this is where i'm going to store a lot of my farm equipment which is over there but if you look I mean, I got stuff everywhere. That's my... Uh, you can't see it against the sun, and it's covered. That's my gold wing. Beautiful gold wing. That's my trusty Toyota truck. And my wife, Lexus, we're waiting for it to blow up to buy her a new car. But, my God, this hybrid just keeps running. I mean, it's got the peeling stuff on it, but... I've had to change the starter on it twice. I think maybe three times. Starters are weak on this because they start and stop a lot. They use the starter as part of the hybrid system. So it really puts a lot of wear on that starter. So this is the other side of that room that we saw. We got the early morning trucks coming through the only road. Uh, in and out of my little valley. So look at this. <laughs> this is so it is packed. Both sides filled to the brim. Only enough room to open the door. So eventually what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get rid of this door. This is this is the uh 
Oh, well, it's blown through here a few times. This is my porch. I have some signs and stuff. My dog loves her big front yard. We have about five acres more in the back. She hardly goes back there. What's the temperature reading? What's that say? Balmy 58 degrees? But that's not all. Let me see if I can sneak in here. My dog knows to push. I don't shut the door of the way. and It won't lock. My dog knows to push it when she wants in. Okay, so anyway. So that's the YouTube studio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the double doors. Make that a single solid door. No need to have. See? He just... <laughs> she just pushed the door open to come in. My gosh, this dog is so smart. Uh, now, we're going to do a lot of different things. So we've got, like right now, she loves sleeping in this little bed. So she get a view of the outside. Uh, she steps up on this and goes right in there. So that's the laundry room, which is the other side of that. That used to be the, where the patio door was. And we made a nice little laundry room in there. So, oh, here's my fin. Finally finished the bathroom. Can you believe this? Finally finished the guest bathroom. Beautiful. Came out real nice. Love it. Okay. In here. I could check this out. <laughs> More. So what's going to happen is this is going to be our spare room office for my wife. She's going to use it. And these two rooms, they're going to we're going to knock out this center wall and we're going to make this one big master bedroom for us. Give us a little more room. I mean, we came from a house that was probably Oh, it was huge. Let's see, it was one, two, three, four, five bedrooms, two stories in Rancho Penasquitas, a suburb of San Diego, right next to Del Mar, which was like five minutes from the beach. I miss it, but I got a lot of money for the house. And when I retired, I no longer really needed to live in San Diego. I wanted to live closer to my children and all my grandchildren who have all moved out here to they're in a city called Menifee which is close to the San Bernardino Mountains which is close to where my ranch is so they can they're within I don't know 45 35 45 minutes of driving to my ranch so anyway now you have seen what I'm in the process of doing. And really, none of this is going to work until I get... We're going out in the sun again. Until I get the barn up. Let me just pan this way away from the sun. Uh, once this barn is up, it's going to be uh, 16 feet wide by 24 feet long. It's going to cover this complete slab that I poured and I'm going to do another slab over here brought in a little bit of fill dirt to level this out right in here and then I'm going to cement all this and bring this all cemented up even uh, bring all this all this cemented because the driveway goes all the way down and it comes up ends right there so I'm going to just finish it all the way out and make this a parking spot for all my cars it should be, <laughs> look at my dog what are you doing up there Zena? <laughs> oh okay anyway so you guys are brought up to date and that's the outside of my used to be a patio now i've enclosed it and then i've got to paint it so uh and like i said the the most i look i can't wait till I get the barn up 
so I can move everything out of the barn into uh, um, everything out of this room into the barn. And then I can move everything out of this room into there and set it all up. And I mean, oh my. Let's see. There's my Tandy 2500 XL2. These were all working computers. And then there's some original monitors down there. All my original monitors. And somewhere in here is an HX. A Tandy HX. That is going to my good friend Derek Osborne from Australia. I'm probably going to spend more in shipping than I am uh that the, the H, H, hx is worth i don't know they're pretty they're they're getting oh there's my sensation see it down there so all my computers and there's my favorite the 1000 rlx love that computer so anyway i, I can't wait to get this all done so we're working on construction getting this all done fulfill my pledges to mr osborne and um uh, Get my museum back up. My museum will probably cover this part over here. My office will be over there. My recording studio will be over there. I mean, this is going to be a huge room. This room is, uh, I think it's 24 feet long uh, by... Uh, I think it's longer, 20... You know, I haven't really measured it, but I would think that this... This is probably, well, those are 16 inches. Let's just count those as, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow, this is probably 20 feet by 25, no, 20 feet by 30 feet, I would think. Yeah, this room. So I put in new, uh, thicker drywall, of, I mean, uh, The name skips me. Thicker uh, plywood. Three-quarter inch plywood up on the top. And then I just put in a bunch of framing. Helped the original frame. Which, the original frame was 2 by 10, I think. Which looked in pretty good condition. So, uh, and some pretty good beams. But I went ahead and, and added some anyway. And then I'm going to make a drop roof right where that ceiling Joyce is there. It's going to come all the way across. So it's going to be flat roof. Nice lighting. Nice electrical. And of course my uh, my mode, my uh, internet is going to be here. Which is cable. Uh, but I've got the higher bandwidth. So anyway, you guys are brought up to date. Uh, there's a few computers in here and a couple Tandys. Most of them in that back room. I mean, I think that's a 1,000. Those are a couple of 1,000s there. There, there are a few others. Some those are AT and T's right there. There's one is a 386. It's kind of cool. And then again, these are all my CEDs. I am going to be downsizing. So, uh, and that. This is one of my favorite printers for making CD covers uh, that they'll print on top of CDs. They're Epson's. I forget what the model number is. And I've, I, buy, I buy broken ones for nothing, and I use the parts to keep mine working. So anyway, and that's again where the slide... That sliding door was right there, which is stupid because we have this door here, so we didn't really need two doors. So I got rid of it. Anyway, you guys are brought up to date now. I can't wait to get my Radio Shack computers back out and do some more vids. Maybe I'll do some vids of setting it up. And this is a lot of my models here. And inside these cupboards are my models. And those are the CDs. And then my models are on top. Again, it's just a hodgepodge of stuff. I'm going crazy. I, 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 need, I need my Tandy Workshop. Or my YouTube studio. I need it. I'm going crazy. 
And my dog has broken one of the couple of the poles to the stairway. She's a handful. Anyway, thank you for watching. You've been brought up to date. And you're losing focus now. Have a great day and a better life. Remember to do more of what makes you happy. See all that stuff up there? That makes me happy. All my 172s, these make me happy. See ya.